General Hospital spoilers suggest that in the next two weeks from November 1st to 12th, Cyrus will likely appear in Port Charles. Fans also know Cyrus as a very dangerous character. Wherever he was, everyone became worried and his return will bring very cruel revenge plans. Meanwhile, someone is preparing to cover a secret above the general hospital. And I don't know who is in a state of despair. Spoilers hint that Cyrus's return will make everyone nervous and thrilled. He's going to return to town to be exact and make some sort of plan that we still don't know. There's information that he will confront the leader of the gang, Sonny. While Cyrus is preparing for his plan, the side Sonny is still unaware of Cyrus's existence. He thought that Cyrus would stay in camp to pay for the mistake he had made. However, Sonny will have to be more vigilant when he hears that Cyrus is out of prison sooner. It will be difficult for Sonny and the residents of Port Charles to accept. Although the return of Cyrus is hard to believe, the spoilers are sure that the character who is about to reappear on General Hospital is an old enemy of the Corinthos. So fans can no doubt identify it as Cyrus who is always looking for opportunities to attack Sonny. In addition, the deaths of Vincent and Charles made him even more hungry for their territory, thereby having a basis to fight Sonny. And of course, Sonny is not the only target of the revenge plan devised by Cyrus. Spoilers suggest he still hasn't given up on killing his half-sister Laura and his brother Martin. This promises Black next episodes to bring fans countless thrilling stories with the devastation coming from Cyrus's location in Port Charles. In addition to the above developments, spoilers also reveal that Britt was taking off with Jason to Greece to find Lesel's whereabouts. They were very close to where Britt's mother was, being held on Cassidine Island. Will they succeed in rescuing her? Peter was also hiding here, and he must have been shocked to see Jason and Britt's presence. Peter did not expect that he was hiding in a very secret place that Jason and Britt still couldn't find. With no other choice, Peter had to pack up everything to run away to a safer place. However, it is not clear that on the way to rescue the hostages, Britt is injured again and she still has to suppress the pain to continue completing the mission. She is very concerned for her mother's safety and wants to find her as soon as possible. While her daughter is defying all dangers, Lesel wakes up and realizes that she has been kidnapped and held in an unfamiliar familiar laboratory. Another person who is still not free from Peter's captivity is Drew. He is controlled by Peter and has no idea how dangerous his actions are. Jason soon realizes his twin brother is still alive and tries to find a way to save him from Peter's evil hand. However, Jason did not know that Drew was controlled by Peter, so he was unable to attack Jason. We cannot ignore the mysterious man, Marshall, who is following Curtis and Portia's every move. Not only that, he also approached the relatives around Curtis without knowing what the purpose was. The appearance of this person will cause many waves in Port Charles. Curtis is on high alert for the time being because he is worried that he has malicious intentions. In addition, he also suspects that he is an ally of Cyrus, who is still in prison. Spoilers say it's possible that Marshall is one of Curtis's enemies. Spoilers make a prediction that the mysterious man watching Curtis and Portia is Curtis's biological father. He was said to have passed away, but somehow returned so suddenly. Soon, Portia will share with Elizabeth about the recent story of a strange man stalking her. In addition, Dante also gave Curtis important information about the war between the clans. Mm -hmm.